My name is Kashvi Gilwani. My first, my full name is. I'm just kidding. Listen, I'm not in school anymore. <laughs> What do you do? I'm a food and product photographer. That's me. Okay. How did you come across food photography? Um, a couple of years ago, six years ago, a friend of mine said that he knows someone who's looking for a restaurant shoot just for cake. So I went to that particular store, bought a couple of cake, and shot it in this light box I'd made at home from a microwave carton, and that was it. What is that one thing that you love about food photography? Just it, food looks different and new every single time, even if I'm shooting the same thing. Like if I'm shooting sushi at restaurant A, it's still different at restaurant B. And it's just even though I'm shooting the same thing, I have to make it something new. So it's always a challenge. It's always the newness that you add to it is what I look forward to. What is the misconception that people have about food photography as people who are looking to become food photographers? So whenever I've trained someone or worked with a new assistant. They're surprised at the amount of detailing that goes into food photography. They think it's just the dish and you shoot it and that's it. And stop giggling. Who is food photography not for? I don't think that's the thing. Who is it particularly for? So if you feel that photography is your way of expressing yourself and if you feel you're passionate about food, why not explore it? Any chef I meet, I would tell them, you know, understand photography because when you're in the kitchen and you suddenly come up with something new, you're not going to be like, let me get a photography shoot done for this. Three things that people should know before getting into food photography. Don't expect to eat the food you shoot. Lighting food is way harder than you think it is and finding the right angle of the food is probably going to take you the longest than actually setting up and lighting and shooting the food. What skills are worth developing? Um, I would say technical first because I'm a very, very technical person right from when I was in college. I would look at everything technically but I feel like that's what's helped me go forward. I mean, so light technically would basically mean your camera and your lighting and all of that. Second would be your people skills. They're so, so important because in this world you're negotiating with clients. Next step comes is the restaurant. The staff at the restaurant, the chef at the restaurant. It's very important to have a good, positive, happy working atmosphere because if those people are not gelling, your shoot's not really, you know, going to move in a good way. So people skills are as important as your technical skills. And the third thing would be patience. Every client is going to have their own opinion and ask you to try out a hundred different things. You need to learn to say no, but also be patient with them. Which skill is needed surprisingly? Very physical work. <laughs> Equipment's heavy, moving your tripod around is heavy. It's a lot more physical, heavy work than you think it would be. What do clients usually ask for? And what helps one prepare for the most difficult client? So again, client briefs are different from day to day. A lot of clients don't know what they want. So they just show me what their products are and they expect me to give them an initial mood board. But what I require from them usually would be number of photos, what kind of photography they want and what kind of vibe they're looking for. So essentially a basic mood board which then I will build on till finalize the shoot. So if it's, suppose I need to do 100 shots, I'll sit down with the client, understand, break down food, beverage, interiors for a restaurant, sit with the menu, study the menu, give them some references, understand the vibe of the place, the vibe of the chef and what kind of feel he wants to put out for the restaurant and then create a mood board as per that. Who do you look up to? So a couple of years ago, I was confused with what to do with food photography and how to go ahead with it. I stumbled across this photographer in New York called Francesco Tonelli and he's a chef plus photographer and he's the one person whose website I'd go to if I'm ever creatively stuck because there's just something about his work that opens up my mind and it takes me into my own direction. So he's definitely number one. Uh, number two are these two women photographers. One of them is Two Love Studio and the other one is The Bite Shot. They're both married, which is important because it gives you happiness that you see people who are living their own lives, have kids and are still full-time photographers, like female photographers. The both of them are amazing on Instagram and they both have distinct styles of work. So again, when I feel stuck and I just need like a video tutorial or just something new to open my mind, it's the both of them. Hi, I'm Kashvi Gidwani and I'm a food and product photographer and thank you for watching the Meat Series.